Today I'm going to show how easy it is to get Azure Activity Logs into Neuralic. Um, here is the Neuralic doc on the steps and in this video I'm going to go through all the steps here um, on, and then bring this data into Neuralic. Um, to start off, this is my Azure account and here's my Neuralic account. So to start off, I'm going to click into Add Data and click Logging. That's the data we want to bring in. So look for uh, Azure Event Hub. So here it is. Generate an API key, um, copy it, and then deploy it to Azure. It opens up a template in a new tab where I'm going to fill in all the details that I need. So um, let's wait for a second. All right, so here we need to fill out the subscription detail, uh, resource group. Um, it's not necessary to create a new resource group, but we recommending installing uh, we recommend installing the template in a new resource group um, to avoid deleting any of the components it creates accidentally. Uh, I'm gonna create one myself and call it Databyte Resource Group. Okay, um, in the license key, I'm gonna paste the API key we copied earlier. Uh, in the endpoint, if you hover over this, you can see that uh, there's different API, uh, different endpoints for US and EU. Since my account is EU, in my Neuralic account is EU, I'm going to change this to the EU endpoint. Start EU here. Um, you can add some custom attributes as you require. I'm going to uh, add some here. Uh, lastly, I need the activity logs to be populated, so I'm going to change this to true. Right, so let's click on review and create. So it's going to run a validation. So you can see validation has passed. And uh, just to review this information, I have the endpoint that's correct and the API key. And then I'm going to hit create. So the, uh, for the deployment to be created, it can take a minute or two. So let's just wait for that to be successful. All right, so our deployment is now complete. I'm going to go into the resource group. I'm just going to add some tags so we have some activity generated and that we can view in the Neuralic logs. So um, I'm gonna click here to add some um, tags. I'm just gonna add, um, Account save. So the tags successful as well. Let's just go to Azure Activity Log to see if all this information is populated. Uh, we're going to Activity Log. So the deployment for that has been created, but the right tag has not showed up yet. All right, so you can now you can see that the right tags operation has succeeded. So let's just go to Neuralic to see if that data has come in to Neuralic. So I'm gonna go back to my tab, close this, go to logs. I have some logs already coming in. So the logs that we want to search for have the resource, we know that the resource group is an identifier. So I'm just gonna search for resource group equals data byte resource group. So let's query these logs. And in the last two, three minutes, we should have, we should have some logs that we can see here. Um, we can also filter it by uh, some of the tags that we had added. So let's just go to tags um, dot project. The project that I added as a tag was a data byte. So tags product project equals data byte. So if I query this, I should be able to see the logs coming in here. Um, you can click into this. And we can also query these logs by going into query your data from log, which is the type for log data select star where resource group oh, 
Databyte Resource Group and tags dot project equals Databyte. And let's run this query. I'm gonna change this to a table. There we have all the logs from uh, all the activity logs from Azure coming into New Relic. Thank you. Hope this has helped. Uh -huh.